Hey everyone, and this time let's talk about the mouse or a trackpad customization on the iPad. Because as you probably know, the pointer, which currently looks like this, a circle with sort of transparency and grayish looking shape and color, well, it's just how it is right now, but I'm going to be showing you how you can customize it. So like I said, if you're using trackpad or a connected mouse, let's just get into it. So go to the settings and try to navigate to the accessibility section. And it's just right there under general in that section. So click on it. And if you scroll down a bit, you should see another thing, which is called pointer control. At first, I need to tell you that it's not really possible to change the pointer to like an arrow which you are used to from a Mac, but you can still sort of customize it. And there are some things, definitely something that you can change. So there is this option called increase contrast, which if it's enabled, is just gonna make sure that the pointer is more visible. So it's gonna be of a darker color. It's not gonna get bigger. Then under this, you have automatically hind pointer, which also is something that if you don't use it, if you don't move it around, it's just going to disappear. So I keep it on, uh, keep it turned on. The increased contrast is for me disabled. But the thing is about the, the color. So if you click on it, you can choose the width and also the color of the pointer. So there are only a few colors of the main ones, but still you get the option to choose. And also what's really important is that it's still a border, so you cannot really make it the color of the entire thing. You can only change the color of the border. And keeping it at none just removes the border, so it's not really a color setting, but a border setting. And I suppose that this isn't something that you are searching for. If you come back, there is uh, the pointer size slider, which again, it makes it slide, but I would say that it's also a border because you have like a dot in the middle still there and it's just like really huge to know where it is pretty much. Again, it's probably not something that you would expect it. Pointer animations, as you can see, it just allows the pointer to animate and adapt to elements on the screen. If this is enabled, I mean, you can hover over, for example, an icon and it's just going to get selected. And it's definitely better because it's not like a Mac OS. So I would advise you keep, to keep this turn on. Besides that, you also have double tap to drag, which I have at off. And I also, um, I mean, have enabled the trackpad inertia, which pretty much means that if you just keep on scrolling and lift your fingers, then it's just going to be, uh, it's just going to continue with the scrolling behavior and the, the movement. So it's definitely something and it's similar to the regular mouse and trackpad settings that you have on a MacBook or a PC. And we're, we're trying to mimic that. And also there is the scrolling speed, which can be really useful, but I keep it somewhat at 25%, I would say, because I feel like it's the best settings and uh, the screen isn't really that big. So a huge speed would really be annoying, especially on uh, the 11 inch iPad. So I keep it like that. It also depends on your preference. So these are all of the settings that are available to you. Hopefully I gave you an idea in case you expected me to tell you about the arrow and how to change it to different shapes. It's just not possible, I'd say, without the jailbreak, but this isn't really a thing anymore, so it's just not possible at all. Maybe Apple will come with the software update, which may change it, but I really doubt that. So anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully I helped you with something at least. If not, then let me know about, about that in the comments. Also, leave a comment saying whatever you want. Leave a thumbs up. That would be really appreciated. And you can subscribe if you want to. So thanks a lot again and see you guys later in the future.